Today we got a very special video. This is just a little different than we normally do. We're in the middle of doing an evil, evil twin project for Luciano. And I got to ride the West Cooley bike up to Luciano's house this day. Um, we switched bikes uh, during the course of the ride. I got to ride up and down Harriman Park a few times on 106, where, of course, the H1 is right in its element. And he got to ride the West Cooley bike. And we, we just had a great day worth remembering. So this is, this is just part of what I'm trying to recapture the summer. And this was several years ago. And there's some really good footage in this. And I, I, because I got to ride his H1, it brought back a lot of memories. I own two H1s and one H2. It's kind of a nice little play on numbers. In my lifetime... And Ray will remember all of them, I'm sure. And one of the things about these bikes, you remember them really well. And then you go and ride one and you think, oh my God, it could it have been this good when I was riding it? So here we are. I started off the day and I'll try to do a little narrative here. This was just one of those days, beautiful summer day. I had taken a West Cooley bike up. We met at Choppers and... It was a bright, beautiful, sunny day. I did my usual, my usual photo shoot thing, try to get some pictures. Now, we're in the middle of restoring this exact bike, which Luciano got from Turbo Steve. Uh, I wouldn't say it was in bad condition, but the engine was in about 1,700 parts when he got it. And he spent a lot of time, to his credit, a lot of time and energy and money to get this running. I'm really, I'm really impressed with what a nice job he did. He bought a brand new seat, among other things. And I know he's got enough parts to make another engine, at least one other engine. And crankshafts and pistons and everything. But it is so nice when somebody puts a bike like this together and it's fresh. It's on brand new tires. You know the engine's solid. And you get to go take it out into Harriman Park on 106 where it's nice and twisty and there's other guys riding through the park and you get to do a little cruising and then because I just I don't want to talk over the, the engine running but it is this is really great memories of a very special day and it's a day I will not forget. And this, of course, is me riding a bike. Luciano's riding a West Cooley bike. And when I shot this original footage, I never knew this bike would become an evil twin also. Actually, the West Cooley bike was one of the original Evil Twins. And Harriman Park was just, this is before, before COVID. It's funny, as I'm editing this, it's it's 22 degrees outside. I congratulate Luciano. This bike really ran and handled well.
and we're right in the middle of putting together the blue bodywork for the Spike Evil Twin project. And the bike is really, it really ran great. I was really shocked. And it really handled well. That's what surprised me the most. I know part of it is have modern tires on the bike. That makes them handle better. And we should have a lot more good two-stroke days in the near future. I got my RD electric sorted out now and we are ready to go. All we need is the summer day. <laughs> the part we don't have. But having this old footage on a cold winter night really makes this priceless. And having an evil twin as we start off the year 2021, great. So I got to ride the H1 up here. It's a real nice bike. It's, somehow it's a lot better than I remember mine being. I don't know, but maybe maybe it's just me. Brakes work great. It hand, actually handles better than I thought it would. section out in front for the historic bikes. If you don't have historic plates, you can't park here. As we get home after a really nice day, and boy, are these nostalgic memories. Look at the old camera mount on the handlebar of the GS. Wow, this was, dude, we really had some crude equipment back then. <laughs> and thank you, Najat, for upgrading our equipment. We appreciate it. This, this was a reminder to me of why these evil twins appeal to me. Now, Luciano is going to have a complete set of blue bodywork, just like I have the West Cooley replica bodywork. And he's going to be able to make a green Kawasaki H1, run home, switch the green body work to the blue body work the next day ride up to the same place and tell everybody he's got two of these bikes when he really only has one he probably has enough parts to build two more i don't know i'm not sure but anyway I, again congratulations luciano that's a great job and i don't want to end the video without thanking the healthcare workers guys i so appreciate taking care of my family and everybody that's enjoyed the video, shared the video, thank you guys so much for watching.